Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something quite different again. I always say this, but today, really, I'm not joking, is quite different because I grew up in Hong Kong and I think I'm leaving for a longer period of time now and I'm not going to come back for a while. So toy hunting has always been my favorite pastime, so I'm going to take you along to sort of mark this as a time capsule as well for the Transformers 1 toy release. I wish I did this for Revenge of the Fallen because I remember the smell, I remember the music so vividly in this exact Toys R Us I'm going to show you now. This is Ocean Terminal Toys R Us. Their Toys R Us always comes with these banger displays once movies come out. They're doing the same treatment for Transformers 1. Speaking of Toys R Us, Toys R Us, this might come as a shock to some of you that there's still Toys R Us's out there in the world. I heard Toys R Us's are coming back in the wild, but they've never really left Hong Kong. Going back to the Transformers 1 display, they have these scarily lit eyes for Transformers 1 characters, so Orion Pax, Bumblebee and Megatron have these displays. Unfortunately, we don't have one for Elita 1, and instead we have a screenshot that's really scarily lit up as well of Orion Pax transforming. I think that's what this is. And again, we have this creepily smiling D16, and this is the same in the back of the display. It's great to see Blockies out and about especially in Toys R Us because last year you'd have to go to hobby stores to get them but now they're everywhere and good for them. And same for Yolo Park. Yolo Park has become my favourite sort of non-Hasbro Transformer company and it's great to have them about as well and it's so easily accessible. I remember when Yolo Park first came out with their Rise of Beast toys that was sort of I think the first time I've heard of them um, except for that you know huge Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime model kit. That was the first time I've heard of Yolo Park. And I had a bit of a hard time looking for that AMK Pro Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime. But yeah, now he's everywhere and that's brilliant for Yolo Park. I hope them you know, tons of success as well. Now here's the main Transformers section for Transformers toys. I'm hunting for that deluxe Bumblebee from Transformers 1, but he's not there. That's why I'm always coming back to Toys R Us lately. These Yolo Park blind boxes are so good, I like them more than the blocky ones, but unfortunately there's just not, not a lot of characters to choose from as much as blocky, because blocky so far has done like 4 waves now, and each wave has like 8 characters, and I just wish that Yolo Park would do the same. I hope that they have like an 86 movie wave, and we have Rodimus and Galvatron, I would just buy them up so fast. And as you can see now, as of today, 2024 August, there's still a lot of Rise of the Beast stuff left on the shelves and unfortunately a lot of Earthspark Nightshades as well. I don't think these Rise of the Beast toys are going anywhere because they're not discounted yet at Toys R Us. It's good to see that the Pirates wave has come out. The Pirate subline, the Star Seekers I think. We have Cannonball, Filch and Lockdown as well as a ton of Legacy Evolution Skullgrin. But, you know, it's good to see the pirate subline out now. Filch, I think, is quite rare elsewhere, so it's good to see one of her. And the rumours are true that the Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime, is getting a re-release. And here's another shot of the pirate wave. And tons of Yolo Park stuff as well. I'd love if Yolo Park did beast mode model kits because that's how the Maximals had majority of their screen time in the beast mode and I love Cheetor's beast mode so I love an accurate toy of him. Studio series just didn't do the job you know. There's always these two statues here of the last night Optimus and Bumblebee they've been here since 2017. Ocean Terminal has always been great at keeping new stuff at Toys R Us yeah like that Insecticon 2 pack but yeah unfortunately Nightshade there's just a ton of Nightshade toys. All the Earthspark toys left over are now Nightshade, Nightshade, Nightshade. There's one Shockwave, but, you know, it's always Nightshade. I don't think it's, you know, with the politics of the character. I love them as a character, and I think they deserve lots of love. But I think the problem here in Hong Kong is that no one has seen Earthspark. And, you know, they, it's not on TV. And because Nightshade themselves, they are a new character. So it's quite difficult for children to, you know, to go up to Nightshade and say, oh, I want this Nightshade toy, when they know nothing of Nightshade. Here is when I decided I was going to get Lockdown. I think I was able to get them at a cheaper discount. 
at somewhere else and this is here at Inns Point. Inns Point is a toy mall, I call it, just a lot of second-hand toy shops combined into one two-story slice of heaven. You know, just loads and loads and loads of toys. It's quite overwhelming. Again, people just come here, sell their toys to shops or just put them down and when people buy them, they'll just get the money back. But I love these, this bit. I love Inns Point. Inns Point is my favorite place to go. They have these toys for super cheap as well. I really didn't do a lot of stable filming here in Inns Point because there's so many people, there's so many foot flow that I don't feel comfortable filming people's faces. So that's why everything's so shaky. But as you might have seen, I got my first toy of the day here. I got first edition Bumblebee. I'm going to do a haul at the end of the video. And these toys, they're like a time capsule in themselves as well. In the fact that you don't really get to see a lot of them anymore. Like there's animated Sky Warp and there's this random G1 Ultra Magnus there. It's basically two stories of heaven. I, I just wish that you got to experience that as well. Here's where I got my KO G1 Swoop and this is the second floor if you're ever going to Inns Point. And this is right up the escalator of the second floor as well, if you ever go to Inns Point. I only just look back at these pictures and there's so many toys I would have picked up right now. Like that side swipe I would have picked up and that fracture, I think I would have, you know, at least held him and got, got a better look, but I didn't. Because I was so overwhelmed with the amount of toys to choose from. But that's Inns Point, you know? This is Galactic Outpost. I don't buy stuff from there because they're super expensive, but they were the first place in Hong Kong to ever get Studio Series 86 Bumblebee, so that's something. They have Pterosaur on discount, and this place is called like Seven's Toys, and they have some stuff on discount on the outside as well. They sell a lot of Yolo Park stuff, and that's where I got my AMK Pro Yolo Park Optimus Prime. This is a shop on the second floor as well, and they stock a lot of recent stuff. They don't really mark up so much. I was able to get the Volvo Optimus Prime for like cheaper than retail, so that was awesome. For like Marvel Legends fans and stuff, I'll, I'll film some Marvel Legends and other stuff for you as well because my brother loves Marvel Legends. Back in like 2014, Inns Point had loads of Transformers, but now they really decreased in numbers, I think. I don't really know why, because I think Transformers, I feel like Transformers always had such a huge fan base in Hong Kong. And I guess there's just, the market's just more saturated with other stuff, like anime has gone like super popular again in Hong Kong. And there's just other stuff instead of Transformers to put in your stores. And I think more people lean towards that nowadays. This is Good Toys. They have like sort of marked up prices. But it's like looking at the time capsule again, that's I always say that. Like how often are you going to see like a wall full of End of the Fallen toys? Like there's that tiny, the last night Optimus Prime and there's bot shots as well. Look, there's bot shots. So, you know, and there's like this Robot Masters Optimus Prime. So absolute time capsule. Now this is Toys R Us at Festival Walk. I grew up near here and look at this weird foot on an escalator. Um, but this is me heading straight to the toy section in hopes of looking for a deluxe Transformers 1 Bumblebee. He's not there, he's in the second wave. He's probably out in October. So when I get back to the UK, I'll probably Amazon him. That's more, that's a really high chance of me getting him. But as you can see, really Hong Kong has some good etiquette in not removing ball jointed heads, you know. There's some more nightshades, unfortunately, and some Beast Wars stuff as well that used to be on heavy discount, but now has strangely gone back to full price. There's no pirate wave here, so I was not able to get locked down after not being able to find him in Inns Point. And unfortunately, I don't know why the Festival Walk stuff used to be really good at getting recent releases. I remember, because I'm in Hong Kong, I used to get like the first in the world stuff. You know, I, I was the first to get like Transformers Prime smokescreen before like Pior did his review, you know. And P.O. got his stuff early back then. I was quite happy with that. So after such a long rambling video, this is just a time capsule again for me to remember what Hong Kong was like and what toy stores were like back then. I wish, I wish, I wish I made a video back in the Revenge of the Fallen times. The vibes were absolutely not the same. I think maybe I had rose tinted glasses and everything, but you know, Revenge of the Fallen definitely 
was different. Now here's some AR, VR card game thing. I'm not really sure, but here's the haul. So I'm back home now. It's midnight and I'm just going to do a haul. And I got two toys at Innspoint and that's it for today. This is my old Transformers Prime first edition Bumblebee and he has a broken knee. I got him when I was 11 and I broke his knee basically. I fixed him and the super glue has held on for 13 years and that is super super impressive. But I painted him up, that was when I found like silver sharpies so I painted him up. So I really wanted to get a version of first edition Bumblebee without the paint. Most of him is stock and he's in super super good condition as well so I'm happy to get him. The other thing I did get is Peak Transformers. This is the Takara 2014 re-release of the Hunt for Decepticons Optimus Prime. I recently, I just after I got home, I found out that there was a version of him without the mask. And I'd love to just get the head of that and just do a swap because I love maskless movie Optimus Prime. I do prefer maskless over mask for Bayverse Optimus Prime. I think this is still the best Bayverse Voyager Optimus Prime out there. So I'm super happy to get him. I got this for £25 and got him for 20 as well. So both are less or equal to deluxe price. And I always say deluxe price. That's what I call good value, you know. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. Stay safe and goodbye.